All right, let's see if you got what I'm about to get. So we want to uh, do these little compositions, and, and let's think about this for just a second. Arc sine, that's going to give me an angle, but I'm going to take the cosine of that angle, and I should get a ratio when I'm done, some ratio of sides if I think of this in terms of right triangle trigonometry. And that's how I do want to think about it, and because I'm going to draw myself a triangle using this arc sine thing. So it's the arcs, it's the sine of something. It's supposed to be just x. If you prefer, that's x over 1, so we can have an opposite side over a hypotenuse side, right? So let's draw ourselves a little right triangle for that one. Remember, as far as sine goes, it lives on the right side in quadrant 4 and quadrant 1. So it makes sense to just draw our triangle here in quadrant 1. I'm just going to draw myself a right triangle, call this thing theta. The opposite side is x, and the hypotenuse side is 1. Using the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the adjacent side, it's the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, and now I just want the cosine of that. The cosine is the adjacent side, which is the square root of 1 minus x squared, over the... Uh, hypotenuse, which is just 1. Or if you prefer, it's just simply the square root of 1 minus x squared. So we turned that uh, trigonometric expression into an algebraic one. Okay, we're going to do the same kind of thing over here on question number 2, but we should get a numerical answer when we're all done. When I take the arc secant of something, I get an angle. If I plug an angle into tangent, I should get a ratio back. Okay, so once again... That is going to establish an angle, which will look sort of, wait, 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 which will look sort of like this. The secant of something is equal to the square root of 5 over 2. I don't know about you, but I'm going to think of this instead as 1 over uh, cosine. So it's the cosine of our angle is equal to the reciprocal of that, which is 2 over the square root of 5. Do not bother to rationalize that. We don't care. Just leave it like that. And I'm going to draw myself a triangle. Now, since the, we are basically turning this into cosine, then it's going to work in the same places as cosine, which is up here. So I'm going to draw this thing in quadrant number uno. Some sort of angle. Cosine, the opposite, no, the adjacent side is 2, and the uh, hypotenuse is the square root of 5. Okay, and then I'll have to use a Zapasagrian theorem. We'll call that one B. I'd have 2 squared is 4, plus B squared is equal to the square root of 5 squared, which is 5. B squared is equal to 1, so B is equal to 1 also. All right, there we go. That's 1. And then I want to take the tangent, and the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent, and we just get the ratio 1 half.